Okay, so this is the third part uh, of the series of videos for Unit 6, Task 3. So, this is a very simple half-wave rectified circuit. So, we've got 180 volts AC coming in, turns ratio of 100 to 4. That will give us an RMS of 7.07 .07 volts. But when we smooth that out, it should give us a peak voltage of around 10 volts. So that will be the DC volts that we're getting out of it. Now, in this example, uh, we're saying that we don't want more than 500 milliamps to basically run through whatever load we put on it. So I've got an example load resistor here. So what I need to work out is what's the very minimum load value that we can put on to prevent the uh, current from going over 500 milliamps. So we can do that very simply using Ohm's law. So just to remind you, Ohm's law equals I, which is current, times R, which is resistance. So... Now, we know that the voltage here would be 10 volts. And we know that our maximum current is going to be 500 milliamps. Okay, so 500 milliamps. Now, we need to convert that into amps. So, we divide that by 1,000 because there's 1,000 milliamps in one amp. So, that's going to give us 0.5 amps. We need that to do our calculation. Right, so if we rearrange this formula, so we're working on, uh, we know the current and we know the voltage, so we're trying to work out what resistor value to have as a minimum. So if we rearrange that, uh, would equal V over I. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So if our uh, voltage is 10, And our current as a maximum is 0 0.5. So basically 10 over 0 0.5 is 20 ohms. So that means that it would be a minimum value that we could put on there. Anything lower than that would create a larger current. Uh, and we're assuming that will be damaging to our components. So that's how you can calculate the minimum load value that you're allowed in a circuit like this. Thank you.